Saint and police hospitalized after accidental shooting by a colleague. A constable from the St. Anne's Bay Police Station is hospitalized following an alleged accidental shooting by a colleague on Saturday night. The incident reported occurred on the AG or Byfield Highway in St. Anne. Around 10 p.m., police signaled the driver of a Toyota Ipsum observed driving recklessly to stop reports stated. When the vehicle stopped, a man with a firearm allegedly exited and opened fire on the police. The cops returned fire causing the gunman to flee while two others in the vehicle were detained. During the exchange, a policeman's gun accidentally discharged, injuring the 29-year-old constable in both legs. He was rushed to the St. Ansbury Hospital. The police have commanded the Independent Commission of Investigations have launched inquiries into the incident. PNP supporters in Trelawney Northern mourn passing of constable caretaker. Supporters of the People's National Party PNP have been plunged into mourning following Sunday morning passing of Charles Wilson, popular cause sweatsuit. The party's concert caretaker for the Sherwood Content Division in Trelawney Northern. His death was confirmed by Dennis Meadows, the People's National Party Trelawney Northern constituency chairman. Wilson was reported admitted to hospital recently after battling a brief illness. He failed in his bid to unseat the Jamaica Labour Party Denson Hamper in the February local government election in the Sherwood Content Division. Clarendon Police Investigating Sudden Death of Detective Inspector The Clarendon Police have launched an investigation into the sudden death of 51-year-old Detective Inspector Donovan Hutchinson on Saturday. He was found unresponsive about 4.30 p.m. at his home in Longwood District in the parish. Hutchinson was pronounced dead at the Maypen Hospital. He was attached to the operations branch. His untimely passing has shocked many in the police force. Eight people killed in crashes in the first seven days of September. The National Road Safety Council says eight people have died on the nation's roads since the start of September. Vice Chairman of the Council, Dr. Lucian Jones, says this brings total road fatalities since the start of the year to 255. The most recent incident is the fatal collision in Spanish Town St. Catherine, which resulted in the death of three people, including a 17 year old girl. Dr. Jones says the country must adopt the recommendations issued by the World Health Organization to improve road safety. He called on the public and private sector to put the resources needed to tackle speeding. 255 persons have died on our roads, and already for the month of September, eight people have died. This kind of madness on our roads, where people are dying regularly, does not have to happen. We can put a stop to this. The World Health Organization has issued a mandate for all countries to adopt the safe systems approach to road safety. It has been welcome and adopted by the chairman or prime minister. Therefore, as a nation, we need to take all that is recommended in the safe systems approach very seriously. And one of the things that we need to come to terms with is the matter of safe speeds. We are just traveling too fast on our roads and it is causing mayhem and death and injury. Whatever it takes, whether it be police out there monitoring the speeding, with the radars, whether it be an enhanced measure in respect of the use of cameras or measuring speed over distance, whether it be the issuing of demerit points, whether it be fines, whatever it takes, we have to bring this thing to a stop. There are other things, of course, which are important in terms of safe roads, and we are hoping that the recently announced measures by the Prime Minister will bear some fruit in this respect. We have to continue to make sure that we have safe vehicles. Too many people are dying because when a crash occurs, a car crumples and people die. And of course, we need to have safe road users. There are far too many people who are still driving under the influence of alcohol and ganja, not buckling up and not paying attention when they walk on the road. Again, this does not have to happen. Both the private sector and the government, civil society need to put in the kind of resources that is absolutely needed to stop the carnage. Raheem Sterling seemingly gets baptized. Jamaican born English footballer Raheem Sterling seemingly got baptized recently. A video of the 29 year old gets into a pool of water, dressed in all white with a congregation singing gospel songs, has been making the rounds on social media since Saturday. Sterling, who has transferred 
to arsenal from Chelsea on loan, is then dipped into the water as two church members hold his hands for guidance. He emerges from the pool to the congregation singing Goodbye World. On Instagram, the footage garnered numerous comments. Some congratulated the player on making this the dub with the best decision of his life, while others chalk up the baptism to him, wanting to rid himself of recent career woes. Sterling, who cost Chelsea £50 million from Manchester City just two years ago, was one of the number of players urged to find a new club. Looking at everything, I'm just like, this is a perfect fit for me, and I'm super happy that we got it out the line, the BBC quoted Sterling as seen after completing a session-long loan move. Two men arrested after gun and ammo seized in St. Catherine. The St. Catherine Central Police arrested two men over the seizure of two illegal guns and 20 rounds of ammunition on Saturday. The seizure took place about 3 a.m., while a police team was on East King's House Road to serve summons. As the police entered the premises, one of the men attempted to flee but was apprehended inside a room. During a search, police found two 38 revolver, one with five rounds and the other with six rounds, along with nine additional rounds of ammunition. Both men are being held for possession of prohibited weapons and unauthorized ammunition pending further investigation. GoFundMe for Lieutenant Stitchy raises over US $12,000. Artist remains unresponsive. The GoFundMe page that was launched six days ago to raise funds for the long-term care of gospel dancehall artist Lieutenant Stitchy, real name Cleveland, has so far reached US $12,328 of the targeted US $100,000. Some 268 donors have made so far. The campaign was launched by Lieutenant Stitchy's wife, Sophia Leng, who revealed that the artist has suffered a severe brain hemorrhage that has left him unresponsive. She said the money will allow the family to home Stitchy in a long-term care facility where he can receive rehabilitative care. Your donation will make a difference by bringing hope to Lieutenant Stitchy and his family during this difficult time. Your generosity and prayers mean the world to us. We are very grateful for your support to help cover the cost of his transfer, medical care, and living expenses in a long-term care home, Mrs. Lang pleaded. Every donation, no matter how small, will make a difference and bring hope to Cleve and his family during this difficult journey, she added. Stitchy is one of Jamaica's most prolific entertainers, whether in the dancehall or gospel dancehall sphere. He started recording in 1983 and got a big break in 1987 with his where your son's album, with the monster hit of the same name, which he recorded for producer King Jamie. Stitchy would go on to record three albums for Atlantic Records over a four-year period, and later, recorded for producer Patrick Roberts on the Shocking Vibes label. Mrs. Leng is urging those who contribute to the campaign to share the information with others. Your generosity and purse mean the world to us, and we are deeply grateful for your support, she stated. Greedy, not the needy, cash in on post burial aid. After two months of aid and restoration efforts and millions of dollars dispensed to help Jamaicans recover from hurricane burial, some residents of the hard hit Port and Cottage community in South Clarendon said the best of the supplies and cash ended up in the bosom of the greedy and not the needy. You see the greedy, I them get it, not the needy, stated one resident who told reporters that her unfortunate situation before the July 3rd storm swiped sections of the island is even worse now. It's hard. Right now, may not even have everything for my kids to go back to school. Me never have no money before this storm, and after this storm, me was Sarah, she confided. The woman, who was one of several parents completing registration activities for their children at Portland Cottage Primary School, said her dwelling had been damaged during the storm. When asked whether she had received assistance for repair, she said, no, sir, we're not seeing no help yet. When asked about how they managed to miss the assistance rendered by the Minister of Local and Social Security and Member of Parliament, Colonel Charles Jr., one one broke her silence to declare, He miss him pick one another name. Miss him over here two times within two long hand. One time he come by himself and another time he come with the Prime Minister. And none of them don't come back, not even water. Them Labour Ministry officials come and take name. But and everybody named them take up. You have to work with them side. One parent alleged adding, Him come in him vehicle, better me choose God than the two of them right now. Everything in my yard are drawn. 
You see all the road? Every water run off of the road that in my yard it reach. We no get nothing. Them drive run and me hear say this I go run for name and I'll know nobody no pop up on we. Them say them I go write down name but it look like a special people them I look for cause me no see none of them. The parents stated. Another parent stated people with slap top roof I get money and them no need it a sufferation. If I ever get a piece of land I go out to pick in them and left right now. Them no hear it in mind say people no have no way better for go. The group in further point out their disappointment said they also felt chaffed with the food distribution efforts. Remember to subscribe, like, share and click the notification bell for daily updates.